In today's video, I'm gonna show you the absolute easiest way to build your Shopify store. A lot of the times building your Shopify store tends to be one of the biggest issues that people have. Tell me about it. People, myself included, either could just completely suck at designing. So you're not really good with matching different types of colors with different types of themes. So a lot of the times we leave those to the professionals or sometimes we just don't even do it at all, which actually ends up preventing a lot of people from starting. Guys, I'm scared. I'm really scared. But fear no more because that is never again going to be a problem. In this video, I'm gonna give you the best and most efficient solution to starting up your own Shopify store pretty much within seconds. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you stick around all the way to the end. Now, before we get started, there is one thing that you're gonna need as a requirement. And for this, you're gonna need to have access to the AutoDS platform. So if you're not signed up just yet, or whether you're on the fence, whether you want to sign up or not, then right now you actually can try us out for just $1 for two weeks. So once you are signed up and you're ready to go, then this is the first thing that you're gonna see once you sign on to the AutoDS platform. You're gonna land straight onto the find product section. But for this, what we're gonna do is, whether you're a new user or already have an account with us, the first thing you're gonna do is click up here where your store is. Now, now we're actually going to click on add a store. Now here you're going to see the option build with AI and this is for a Shopify store. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to use AI to build our store from scratch. So we don't have to do anything. So once we're on here, we're just going to go ahead and choose that option and continue. Then you're going to come to the screen and you're going to have a few different options. You're going to have, I have a Shopify store and connect, which is not what we're going to do. This is if you already have an existing Shopify store, then you have the other option, which is I don't have a Shopify store created by myself. Again, this is not the one that we're going to go with either, because in this case, Case, we're going to end up creating the whole store ourselves. What we're going to do is choose the middle option, pre-build store with AI. Then we're going to go ahead and continue. Now, I know this is one really hard topic for a lot of people. So let me help you out a little bit. If you're not sure what niche to pick, if you're not sure which niche is profitable, Think of it this way. Pretty much at this point, every single niche is going to be profitable just because there's a demographic for pretty much everything. What you should do is try to stick to a niche that you know about. The reason I say this is because you can go into this particular niche and then you can sub niche even further. So you can get very specific with the topics of your items and market them to a very specific demographic of people. Now, one of the ones that I personally absolutely love and to me is always trending specifically because people absolutely love them is pets. I'm pretty sure you've seen our top 10 videos. And whenever I talk about any pet products, I always mention how people absolutely love their pets. They love them to the point where they love them just as much as they do their kids. Oh, I love dogs. So because of that, people are not afraid to spend a pretty penny on their dogs or cats or guinea pigs or lizards or geckos or any other pet that they have. So for this, I'm simply going to choose pets and let's go ahead and click on next. And then the AI is building the store for us. All right. So once the AI does its thing, then you're going to get this page. And let me tell you that this is probably one of the coolest things that I've seen aside from the actual store creation. So you actually get set up with an email right off the get go. So here you're going to be provided with an email along with a password. And then you're also going to get a store name. Now this store name is typically the one that you're going to choose from whenever you go to switch stores over here. That's if you have multiple stores. So that way, you know, you know what to look out for. But once you're in this page, it's really important that you save these credentials. If you lose these credentials, then you're going to have to reach out to support and have everything reset. You're not going to be able to find these credentials anywhere else. So make sure you save these, sign into your accounts and change the passwords to something that you're actually going to remember. Now, once you have your login information saved, the next thing you're going to do is go ahead and open up the Shopify store plans. So this is a very important part you are going to have to choose a plan for your Shopify store. Otherwise, you're not going to have access to it. But don't worry, because if you actually use this link and you go through the AutoDS platform to choose your plan, then you can get each month for the next three months for just one dollar each. So you're pretty much just going to be spending a total of three dollars for three months. That's actually a really good deal. By the time that the three months are up, you could have already had quite a good amount of sales, especially if you use our winning product section that's filled with tons of trending and winning products. Then by the end of the trial, you should have already had enough money to be able to pretty much purchase the entire year worth but we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves so let's just go ahead and open shopify store plans through here all right so once we log in the first thing it's going to do is straight away take us to choose a plan now from here i'm going to be completely honest with you the easiest and best thing that you can do is just go with the basic one monthly at least for the first three months if you actually do start getting some sales and you start making some money then you can continue either monthly or if you've actually made a good amount of sales then you can just opt in for the entire yearly plan and remember if you use the link that you provided then you are gonna get each month for just $1. So from here, we're just gonna go ahead and confirm our billing cycle. Then we fill out all of the information that it asks us for. Now, after we do subscribe, Shopify is trying to be sneaky and they're gonna wanna try to upsell us, 
but we can just go ahead and click on skip and we're all done. Now the next thing we need to do is actually start adding a few different products. Now I'm gonna show you the easiest way to actually add your products without having to do absolutely anything manually. We can automate the entire thing, especially since we're already signed up with AutoDS. But let's go ahead and check something out really fast before we do that. Let's see how our store looks. So for this, what we're going to do is we're going to look on over to the left hand side under online store and let's view our online store. Let's see what the AI came up with. And here we have Cozy Paws. I love how it pretty much just made everything in one. It even has the announcement banner up top with the free shipping for the week only. That's actually pretty cool. That's very efficient. Now, when it comes to the logo, that's something that me personally, I do sometimes struggle with. And I know a lot of people do as well because it's just hard to come up with something that actually matches what you're trying to go with. But using the Shopify build your store, it pretty much does the entire thing for you. So here we have Cozy Paw. Now let's talk about this for just a quick second. So you do have Cozy Paws, but chances are there are gonna be a few other stores that are named Cozy Paws as well. They probably won't have the same logo, but it could happen. Now this is pretty much all suggestions and you can change whatever you want as you see fit. You can keep everything the way it is, that's totally fine. But just be aware that this is AI generated and sometimes it is best to actually tweak it a little bit. So if you want to change a few different things, maybe change the actual name of the store. You can go on Canva, create a logo through there. You can create something that's super simple and super similar. It can be just like this as well. For example, let's say you want to do something that has to do with pets, but you want to specialize with pet beds. Instead of doing cozy paws, you can just do something as simple as cozy pet beds or just do a couple of different play on words. You can ask ChatGPT for a few suggestions on that as well. But one of the easiest way to go about this to be able to customize it your own way is to just keep everything more or less as is, but just change a few different elements. Like I said, the title, you could change the name of the store itself as well. The color scheme actually looks really good. I like how it looks, the little pink accents. It goes well with the theme of the store and especially with this cat background image. But even that you could change as well too, because if we just navigate back here, click on online store and right under in themes, we just go ahead and click on customize. So let's say we do want to change this background image. All we have to do is click on it and simply click on change. Here we can go ahead and select from our own library or we can explore free images. So Shopify does give us a bunch of different pictures that we can use. Now, another resource that you can use that I absolutely love is Pexels. I use Pexels for literally everything when it comes to my stock images. Here they have a huge library of different images that you can use for completely free that are royalty free. So you don't have to attribute anybody. You could use all of these without any problems. But anyway, aside from that, let's go ahead and explore our store a little bit more. So you scroll down a little bit and then you have the top picks. So this is even better. It actually already gives you a few different products to offer, all of which are hot and trending items that are proven to sell. Now you can click on view all if you want and you can check all of the different ones that they have available or all of the ones that were imported, but let's just keep going. So we have, have a question, message our 24 hour customer support. This is absolutely fantastic the way that it's laying this out because it's already giving your customers a solution if they ever have any problems or any questions. Subscribe and save 10% off. Boom, we even have an email marketing system. So here people are going to put in their emails, you're going to collect their emails and they're going to get 10% off their next order. But the best thing about this whole thing is that you're already going to be collecting emails from the get go. So you can start doing some pretty efficient email marketing. If you're not actively trying to get people's emails, then you're missing out on a lot of potential profit. Email marketing is proven to be one of the most effective marketing strategies out there. And then aside from that, you have all of the different links on the bottom. So you have your refund policy, your shipping policy, your privacy policy, your terms of service, and even a track your order link. This is so cool and efficient simply because this already saved us at least one to two hours of work in just setting up our store. And honestly, me personally, if I had spent those one to two hours setting up my store and actually building it and trying to design it, it would not have come out this good. Now I can just simply spend 30 minutes or so just tweaking a couple of different pictures and a few different pieces of text and I'm good. Now, one thing I will say is that these different names I would go ahead and change some of them. So I would probably simplify some of them. I would make it a bit easier to read, a bit easier on the eye and just overall shorter because for a product title, this is extremely long. Now, this is how we're gonna go ahead and do that. So we're just gonna go back to our AutoDS platform and we're gonna go to products. So once we click on products, we're gonna see all of the different ones that were imported to our store. As you can see, there's actually two pages worth. Now here, simply what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose which one we wanna change or edit and we're gonna click the three little dots and click on edit. From here, you're gonna have, first off, the product tab. This is where you're gonna have the title, the collections, if you wanna add it to any, the different tags to keep track of analytics, the shipping methods, which is something that you really need to know about. This is actually very important, but also very simple. I always keep it the cheapest with tracking. The reason behind this is because you're gonna get one, the cheapest shipping, and two, 
you have tracking numbers. If you do the cheapest, then there's a chance that you're not going to get any tracking number, even though you're going to pay a lot less for shipping. And then if you do fastest with tracking, you are going to have your tracking number, but you're going to have the most expensive shipping and that is not going to be worth it. So cheapest with tracking is always going to be your best bet. Aside from that, you also have a bit more information. So you have the location of where the actual item is going to ship from and the city. Click on over to the description. You can go ahead and change the description on here. All you have to do is simply click on edit product description or optimize description with AI. Now, this is really cool because you can actually optimize your description and your title directly on the platform with AI. Then once you click on over to variants, this is where you can actually change your pricing. So right now we only have one, but if there were more variations, you can select all of them through here and then you can edit each one individually as well. Now on here, you're going to be able to edit the pricing however you see fit. So you can increase the pricing based off of a fee percentage or a fee dollar amount. Same thing goes with profit percentage or profit dollar amount. So here, take for example, I do want to make a 20% profit. Our original buy price is going to be $15.99. Given our 20% profit, it's going to sell for $20.09. Now, let's say I don't want to do that. And I actually just want to make $10 off of every sale for this item. So all I do is under profit, just put 10 and the sell price is going to increase to $26.79 with a total profit of $10. Then once we click on the images tab, this is where you have all of the different pictures here. If you want to make any edits, you can do so on the platform itself. We do have a built in image editor and you can also delete or add any images on here as well. Now, let me show you how you can add products without having to do everything manually as well. So for one, the easiest way to do this is simply go to find products. And on here, you can simply search by category or you can search through a variety of different filters. Now we do have the marketplace, which is full of different kinds of products, but we also have the winning product section. The winning product section are updated regularly with some of the hottest trending items at the time. Aside from that the other way that you can import your products is through the urls over here you can click on import multiple products with url and all you have to do is paste your links on here so let's say we want to import this dog bed into our store all we have to do is click on the link go ahead and cut it or copy it i always cut it for some reason and on here just go ahead and paste it. So once we click on our draft section, we're going to see the item right here. Here we can go ahead and either edit it and make any necessary adjustments like we did previously, or we can click on import and it'll be live in our store within minutes. Now, a couple of extra notes, just so you know, you are also going to receive an email with all of your store credentials and a bit more instructions if you need them. So if you do accidentally lose your credentials, you are going to have your email. But aside from that, that's it. Those are the only two places you're going to be getting them in. And there we have it. This is the easiest way that you can create your Shopify store and pretty much build the entire thing from scratch with AI. As you can see, AI makes everything a lot more efficient. It makes everything so much quicker. So all you really have to do is just tinker around a bit, change a couple elements here and there, and you're going to make the entire site yours. So if you want to take advantage of this, if you want to check us out over at AutoDS.com, remember that you can check us out for two weeks for just one dollar for the trial period. Now to get access to that, all you have to do is just check out the link down below. And remember also, once you create your Shopify store with AI, make sure to use the links that are given to you on the AutoDS platform. So that way you can get your trial period for $1 for three months. Huge thank you term for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Please, if you did make it this far, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Let me know what you thought of this new AI system down in the comments below. And with that, catch you all next time.